And you, Sarah, what did you come to this before? I definitely came to study the Bible and know Jesus better. Standing here on the eastern side of the Mount of Olives behind me is Bethany, hometown of Lazarus. This is also where Jesus stayed during the Passion Week and also the general area of the Ascension. We are down in the Suenit um, Valley where um, we were just overlooking between Michmash and Geba. And this is the place where Jonathan uh, crossed with his armor bearer from Geba down here between these two cliffs, which he had to climb using his hands, up to the Philistine garrison at Michmash. And uh, the cliffs have, uh, have been named in the Bible in uh, 1 Samuel 14, 4, where it says, On each side of the pass that Jonathan intended to cross to reach the Philistine outpost was a cliff, one called Bozes and the other Sine. One cliff stood to the north toward Michmash, and the other to the south toward Geba. So we're in the Judean wilderness, and for most of the year it's barren and dry here, and in the spring we can see grass and flowers. And uh, this is um, the image that Isaiah um, speaks of when he talks about the frailty, the glory but frailty of man. And he says this in Isaiah 40, verses 6 through 8. A voice says, cry, and I said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. We are here at the Parat Spring, and this is where the Lord instructed Jeremiah to come and bury a garment. Jeremiah is from uh, the town of Anatoch, just a few miles away from here. So he came down here to bury the garment, and returned some time later to find it completely worthless and disintegrated. This was a sign of how Jesus cried for disintegrated. Oh, by the way, um, hi, Jeremiah. We're in the valley of Rephaim right now where the Philistines attacked David twice. Um, this is the only direct uh, southwestern approach to Jerusalem. We're about to start the hike from Jericho to Jerusalem. Yeah. <laughs> the road from Jericho to Jerusalem goes along the ascent of Adumim. Um, let's see. <laughs> I did a lot of music. Uh, on our way to Jerusalem and uh, taking a little break right now. I think we're about to go on the, see some parts of the Roman road and Mount of Olives. More or less, man, Jesus did some work to come to die. More or less, that's how I'm feeling like. We are on a section of the Roman road that goes from Jericho to Jerusalem. And this is a path that Jesus would have likely taken on his way to Jerusalem to die. There was a man who came down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he fell among thieves. <laughs> they, they, robbed, they robbed him and beat him and left him for dead. Then there happened to pass by that way a Levite. But he saw him and passed by on the other side. And then a priest did the same. But a Samaritan came by. And he helped that man. And he brought, he bound his wounds, put in some wine and oil, and he brought him to an inn. He put him on his donkey. Oh, he needs a donkey. Can we get a little donkey out here somehow? Some say he was an outlaw, that he roamed across the land. The last nine hours we've been trekking through Israel. We started Jericho up the center of Adamim. We hitched up with the Roman road and we finally made it to the city walls of Jerusalem. Woo! Something bad kept him on the run. 